Lovely and beautiful Ashes Couture. Yes. How are Hello. you? I'm good. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is a pleasure. You just <laughs> come bright another place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, what is your stats? My stats are 34, 27, 38. Oh, tell him. I'm 5'8". And you're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> what do you bring to the table? I am a strong, driven young female with um, my head on my shoulders. I'm very independent and I know what I want. I came into this business knowing exactly what I wanted to do. And I came with a, a lot of knowledge from friends and family on the do's and don'ts. So I have an uh, upper hand over other models. What would you say is your best? the best asset my best asset a lot of people tell me i'm great on the runway but i've kind of um stared away from that i like to do more commercial print now oh how, how, how would you explain that mainly just doing photo shoots to um, have, keep my portfolio updated and sending out my images to different companies such as dr j's rock aware um baby fat just different ads for different company stores and you know Tell us about some of some of what you did in the industry so far. Well, um, I've done a few pageants. I was first run up for Miss Tropical Paradise 2012. I am oh, now yeah. um, yes, I am now a contestant for Miss Caribbean United States of America, which is um, October 5th. I have done plenty of fashion shows for different urban designers. I've done New York Fashion Week. I've modeled for Rockaware a few years back. Um, yeah, so I've just done a, I've done a lot. I, I was in an independent film by the name of The Come Up. Yeah. So that was my first film that I, I, I featured in, playing a cheating girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. Oh, we just playing. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it was. But it was fun. It was a great experience. What made you stand out? What made you really shine at a fashion show? Oh, I am fierce on the runway. When <laughs> anytime I hit the runway, I make myself differentiate myself from others. Like I make sure I stand out and I make sure before I leave someone at least comes up to me and says, I would like to work with you and that's the point of a fashion show in my eyes that you're supposed to gain your add to your network after the end of the fashion show. In reality I'm more conservative and some say shy. I wouldn't say shy, but I'm a bit conservative. But when I'm on the runway, I'm all out there. <laughs> okay. So it, it, it's fierce the same as um, intimidating? I've heard that I can be a bit intimidating. <laughs> but <laughs> I choose, I, I don't want to be. I hope not to be. I don't like mm -hmm. to be. Models get hungry with each other. Models fight with each other. What is the worst thing that can happen, you know, in like in the back room or whatever? Um, there's not much tension between models. There's more tension between designers, hairstylists, and makeup artists. But um, I've never really had any tension between a model. I did get my bra stolen at one fashion show, <laughs> and it was like the fall time. And it was kind of cold. But besides that, and I have my shoes stolen at one point too. <laughs> but I had an extra pair of shoes in my bag. But, but what do you think you sell the best? Uh, couture wear, so high fashion editorial, um, Zara type of clothing, upscale Manhattan, Fifth Avenue looks. Yeah, specific um, clothes are, are things that you do and I would not do. Yes, yes. Okay. So I have, let me correct myself, I have done fashion shows where I was asked to wear more revealing pieces than others mm -hmm. but it's not something that I would normally do because I don't really feel comfortable in it I don't want to give off the image as I'm trying to be in a vixen type of modeling because that's not what I'm trying to do okay, okay. so I stay more up to the classy part of you know oh, alright I like <laughs> that I like that you know I'm looking at you right uh, as a model uh -huh. you know and I and I can't help but feeling good <laughs> okay you know so, so how, how serious do you have to be? How serious do you have to take it, the game? 
um, in my perspective, being that I'm I'm not signed to an agency, I freelance and I've been managing myself from the age of 14 years old, I have to take it very seriously. I have no management, I have no representatives, so everything I do is under contract and I make sure I have everything revised and looked over by a lawyer or something mm -hmm. um, to make sure anything I do I'm able to be compensated for it and it's something that if I'm not compensated or whatever the case may be, what, whatever's not followed in the agreement, it can be taken up in court. Okay. So um, I just have to watch my back 200% rather than a model that's covered by an agency or has management. Seriousness now as far as um, you know, the work itself. Is it a fun thing for you? Or of course, it's a fun thing. I wouldn't do it like you know if it wasn't fun. I enjoy. It. I enjoy entering pageants. I enjoy meeting new people at these fashion shows I've done. I have a great network because of the fashion shows I've done. I enjoy the photo shoots and you know seeing my progress from when I was 14 until now. I you know deal with a lot of models over the years, mm -hmm. and one thing I came to really understand that they they wear really uncomfortable shoes a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I mean, how oh, oh, you deal with that? You have an experience that you, you would like to share? You know, One like, time I had, I, it wasn't a fashion show, it was more of an exhibit. So I was a model, I was a mannequin model, meaning there was a designer, a shoe designer, and you pose as a mannequin, meaning you don't move and you change your poses within 10 to um, 5 to 10 minutes. And um, the shoes were very uncomfortable, but the, sh the exhibit was about the shoes, so it wasn't mainly. <laughs> So everyone was like coming to watch the shoes and you had to stand in the shoes in awkward positions. So it was very uncomfortable, but it was a great exhibit and I had a great time afterwards I, when I got to sit down. See, I would look at a fashion show and I say, oh, oh, come on, never see any, oh, come on, never see anybody wearing that stuff. Don't wear pins road. Right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. is it a show or entertainment piece? Um, is entertainment also, it's just to try to attract the people that um, are trying to buy that type of clothing, that type of apparel. There are people in the city that do like to buy these things. Everything that, that they show at a fashion show, mm -hmm. everything is, 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 is... Able to be worn on the street, yep. <coughs> just It's just for whatever rocks your boat, pretty much. Whatever is your style. Wow. When do you feel most, you know, most gorgeous? When do you feel most beautiful? Uh, what makes you happy the most? Swimwear. I enjoy doing the swimwear. Different types of swimwear from different designers on different beaches in different countries. That's oh. what I enjoy. So you like to travel? Yes. <laughs> okay. And what you don't like? Um, I don't do anything displeasing to myself. So everything that I've done, I've liked. I've modeled lingerie. I've done it tastefully. I've done artistic nude. I've done couture wear. I've done urban wear, so everything I've done to my liking, anything that I feel is not comfortable, I won't do it. So. Okay. What is artistic nude? Um, nude done appropriately and not <laughs> vul vulgarly, I guess. What the experience be like? I mean, you, you met you met a lot of resistance and and, and the modeling industry. I've been offered management plenty of times throughout my modeling career. But I, I was asked to keep a certain weight or a certain, and it was just too much, a certain look. Um, mm -hmm. You had to have natural hair. It's just a lot that you have to um, do. So I found myself making more money when I manage myself. And I have my own, I make my own rules. I have my own contract. I don't share my money with anyone. No one's get a percentage of my money. Okay, good, good. And what, what, what's the goal as a matter? Were you trying to take it? Uh, my goal is I'm branching off from modeling. I'm moving into acting and hosting. Um, soon I hope to open up a company, a fashion company. So I'm just all bringing it all in together into a ch one day venturing off into opening my own business. Okay. So I don't plan on modeling past 25. I will always be in the entertainment realm. Yeah, you're a very smart girl. Thank you. <laughs> You're a very smart girl and you know, I'm very impressed with you. What made you, you laugh the most? What do you find funny? What do I find funny? Huh? Besides my talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Um, they used to be funny. <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't really heard a good joke in a long time. <laughs> it's been a while. Wow. 
kind of my fault then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need a good joke. Now that she said that. You know, the things that you have to do to, to be beautiful. Right. All right, you know, the hair, the makeup and all of that. I mean, how, how do you find that? I mean, it, it can be lengthy, you know. Yeah. Or, 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 I mean, how you handle she it? She is very annoying to me. That's one of the reasons mm -hmm. why I stopped doing the um the runway modeling because the process for makeup and hair is very, very long. But, um... It's all like what, like I said before, it's all like of your preference. I personally never really enjoyed the runway modeling after a while, and the print modeling is my passion now. So it does. I don't mind that as much. The time doesn't bother me. Okay. How do you get ca casting? That's just like by God's blessing. Me just as a young girl, um, just networking through the fashion shows I've done. I know a lot of people, and um, knowing that a lot, I know a lot of people and I'm a very humble person, they all just look out for me and they just say, hey Ash, you know, I know this person that's having this video shoot, whatever, so it just comes to me. Okay. Really, I don't have to do much looking. Okay. Yeah. How oh, you handle it now if you go to, if you go on a casting and you get, you get rejected? What? I would use it as a learning experience. I wouldn't be sad or anything. I would just try to improve or and make sure I find out why I was rejected and improve for the next time. You, you're gonna meet people, you know, like, like heartless, you know, they don't care, you okay. know, and they say the wrong thing or, you know, try to, right. try to demean you or whatever. How, how do you deal with that? I don't go out to any casting without knowing full information. When given a casting, you know full information. You know if they're only looking for someone that is 5'11 and you're 5'8, there's no reason for you to go. That's like you're put, you're setting yourself up for that rejection. So like I never like, if I know the qualifications and I know I don't meet them, I don't bother to go. Unless then I know that I have an exception, I know someone there, or you know they really need a model. Or sometimes I just put myself forth and they actually do like me and they accept me for my height or whatever the case may be. So. Miss Caribbean, mm -hmm. 2013, um, beauty pageant coming up October 5th. I have Mr. and Miss University pageant coming up in December. I have photo shoots with different great photographers. And I have just a couple of things, you know. I always have things up in the works. Oh, oh, okay. And, oh can you be reached if I want to befriend you or whatever? Well, I'm on Facebook, um, Facebook backslash Ashes Couture. My website is Ashes Couture. Dot .com. I'm on Instagram underscore Ashes A S H E S S C O U T U R E. Everything is Ashes Couture. Twitter is Ashes Couture. YouTube slash Ashes Couture. And my email is Ashes Couture 7 at gmail.com. Where the name came from? Ashes, is that, that your real name? No, my name is Ashley. Um, I know Ashley is a very common name. So mm -hmm. what I did was drop the L E Y, kept the A S H add ESS to it and couture is the type of modeling that I always dream to be a part of. And what is couture? Where that came from? It came from France, Italy. Mm -hmm. If you look at the type of apparel they wear, the fashion shows and stuff like that, it's more upscale. They have the slim Caucasian models. That's the fashion that everyone knows of. The Chanel Iman, the Tyra Banks, that's you know, couture wear that they usually model in. Just follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Ashes Couture, Instagram under, um, underscore Ashes Couture. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Ashes Couture and I want to thank Backyard TV for inviting me. Big up Howell, the owner of the yard, for having me. It's been a pleasure. I had a great time. Thanks. Here, bye. That was fun. Do you still have Snicker bars here? <laughs> Now I'm gonna make a collage. <laughs> what are you again? Five eight. How do you know yeah. when it's gonna take? Oh no, I'm just taping it. Oh. I'll, I'll take a picture of it. I'll take a, a frame. But I'm going to um not running. I have to go take.